Hey, this is not a spring chick. As you know, we're here at the International CES Show 2012 here in Las Vegas. And so, well, we're going to give you the daily vlog as to what's happening on a day-to-day -day basis. Today is actually our second day of May. <laughs> going, what? And the first day of press events for the Consumer Electronics Show. We actually arrived yesterday to get an early start. Oh, in other words, so we feel a little bit relaxed today. Actually, today we felt a little bit overstuffed because we took advantage of, oh yeah, those 24-hour passes for all-you-can-eat buffets. <laughs> um, but anyway, here's a really good point about doing that is, well, let's just say some people came in today and they had a few last-minute challenges. So fortunately, we were here. The day started, okay, not just by eating. Um, but the first event, um, well, actually, this is what happens on the first day is, you pick up your badge holders, right, um, to go with your credential. You get your media bag. Oh, we're going to start too late. But anyway, we get a, a press bag that identifies as this press. You pick up your, your, your booklets that tells you everything that you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. But some of the most important things today is the CES um, State of the Consumer Technology Industry in 2000 and Trends, plus a recap of what's been happening in the consumer electronics industry for the last couple of years. So that was what kicked off, of course, for us, all of our CES events today. And then um, then after that, we went and got a ticket right here, CES unveiled the Orange Press Pass. So we went and stood in line for CES unveiled. And CES unveiled is, well, let's just say it was naughty. It was crazy. There are way too freaking many people in that room. Um, in fact, there's so many people, it was actually difficult to actually talk to the people because imagine this, you're in a room with all these vendors and it's a room full of media people all waiting to talk to them. Now I wish they had more people that could actually talk on camera because sometimes the challenge is um, there's only one person that can talk on camera, so guess what that means? Everybody's waiting to talk to one person and there's only so many people that can officially speak for the company and all that stuff. But anyway, but you know, all the media people are trying to talk to them and find out what's great about their products, what's new, what's great. Um, you're seeing all of these companies there that a lot of you have, are familiar with, like TechCrunch, Technorati, and Gadget, right? You know, all, you know. Oh, and then a bunch of a holes. What was that? And Android Gizmo, or oh, yes, yeah. so should we say it starts with a G? Yeah, a bunch of jerks. Yeah, they were not very nice, and they even knew that they were jerks because they turned their press badges mm -hmm. around so you couldn't get their photograph, their names on them. That's okay, their company does know who they are. Yeah, they'll know their pictures when we send them. Yeah, so anyway, but it was crazy. I and mean, part of it is you've got all these media people, most of the people were courteous. You know, because there is like a protocol, right? A courtesy protocol. Um, but you know, part of it is, is we were hoping to get, we did get some interviews. We used, how many do we use? About five, or, five six. or six. Yeah, over a three hour period. <laughs> yeah, which is not yeah. good. <laughs> it's like, I wish we could get more. But, uh, uh, you know, most of the time we are waiting and waiting and waiting. Um, they do feed you there and you do have drinks. And then afterwards, you know, we do have information about the companies because, you know, they do have some really cool products. Some of them, okay, let's just say one thing is Apple, the company is not here, but there are so many Apple peripherals. You kind of wonder, do they realize that Android now has such a substantial portion of the market? <laughs> I know, some of the people will say, well, you know, they come out with all this stuff for Apple because it's easy. Because Apple has one telephone, right? One phone, it has the same case, and then it makes it Okay, well, you know what? It's time. Step it up. There's a lot of Android users, and there's more and more users out there. Um, and then after that, we went to the OnStar press conference. And the cool part about the OnStar press conference, oh, this is actually the first press conference for the Consumer Electronics Show kicking it off, is... We could actually hear what they were saying. <laughs> actually, it was kind of nice not to wait in a queue. They actually had seats and couches and you know, you could just sit there and relax, and you could oh, hear what and, they and, and adult uh, librations. Ah, and what was what was that stuff called? They were, uh, they were talking about Q, and they were talking about the the very very important fact that and that they're going to be they're going to they start a program where people are going to be able to develop apps for the OnStar system, which is a very I think what is it. Uh, 
at uh, www.onstar. Uh, we'll, we'll, actually, we will, should we tag the video? Yeah, well, we'll, we'll do it, but it's basically we'll, going to... We'll find, we'll find out what it was. It was, it's in the notes, in the, actually, it's in the photographs. Yeah. <laughs> but we will find it out for you, because that's probably one of the more, more important announcements for it. One of the things that they um, did debut was a new ride sharing service, Relay Rides, actually, which was kind of cool and interesting, which means, you know that Chevy Volt that you bought? Well, now, with OnStar, people can rent out your Chevy Volt, and you can make money off of it, <clears throat> Pay for your car payment. <laughs> People borrowing your car. Yes, and all with OnStar. Hmm, kind of interesting. Actually, I thought that was probably one of the more interesting things, um, which was being able to develop the apps for it. Because apps have come to your car, not just to your cell phone. But actually, that may tell you about some of the things that you're about to see, because it's one of the trends, is the apps are spreading on all the different devices. Because one of the things they said was that, well, as your computers are trying to have more devices where you use the software to update it. Because one of the things OnStar said was uh, the car cycle is three to four years, whereas electronic cycle is about 18 months. So they're looking at ways to continually keep it updated because otherwise, well, I guess you get electronics in the car that are already at outdated halfway through the cycle of the car, right? Hmm. Anyway, we've got a lot of stuff to coming to you tomorrow. It's our really, really long press day. So you hear lots from that. Thank you.